What up, vlog? It's that time of the year again where I need a reserve repack. But also, there's a service bulletin out on Vigil AADs. That's this little bad boy. That's this bad boy right here. the maintenance update. It's worth noting that this little device, um, this little device, it's a life-saving device. They cost like a lot of money. All right guys, this is my Visual 2 AAD, automatic activation device. It's got the little remote, the battery pack, and the electronics, and the cutter. Now if you guys have, if you have ever worked around explosives before, then you know that this thing, okay, this thing, specifically this piece here, it looks exactly like a blasting cap. Okay, and it's wired to a battery, and it's got what could be a detonation device. So, always travel with the x-ray card, you guys, because it looks just like a blasting cap. Now, the cutter here, this thing is super powerful. Um, the inventor of this device says, uh, I was told by Brom Clement of Skydive Ratings, you could put a fork in there and it'll cut it. I've got a demonstration of that here. It will cut anything that you put in a hole. So I put my tooth or my fork in a hole and I just cut the little tip of my uh, fork there. So three, two, one. Fancy. Well. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it to be louder. Oh, no, 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 this is it. Nothing fancy. Anyways, the, the service bulletin came out from Vigil that these bad boys are due... Oh, don't drop it. Too hard. These bad boys are due for a firmware update. It turns out that on certain models, um, above 30,000 feet, sometimes they shut off and they, they don't protect your life the way they should. Um, this is a super important piece of gear to me because while I do love skydiving and I accept the risks that it has, um, I won't jump without one, especially with the young son in the house. I just won't. So you got to send it back to Vigil. They quoted me a four to five week lead time on getting the firmware update. Amber's is already there. Um, getting updated. We're about to do her recurrency jump, but it's worth sending in. Um, the service is free. It just caught, you just got to pay for shipping and then they'll ship it back. So it's good to get that checked out and know that it's working effectively. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this up to you guys. So if you're flying a vigil and maybe you haven't seen the service bulletin, you can get yours updated as well. Um, if you jump regularly above 30,000 feet, which uh, you're clearly in the military if you do, um, get it serviced immediately. Otherwise, they said before 2020 um, is when it's due. It's not super important, but since I was due for a reserve repack last week anyways, I thought I would take it out, get it serviced, put everything back together, and then when we do Amber's recurrency, we know all of our gear has been inspected and it's good to go. The, Two things I want to talk about. One is the 100th episode is coming out soon. I have been going through all this old video and it's taken me a little bit longer so I might publish a couple other videos before the 100th episode. Um, so it may not be our 100th video, but it's gonna be the 100th episode. Also, we're approaching a thousand subscribers. I never thought, I mean, I wanted to grow this channel, but I never thought that it would, it would get to this point where we're just getting subs all the time and um, it's blowing me away. I love talking to you guys on the YouTube channel. I love digging into the comments section and, and getting to know you guys. And I've done some jumps with, with people who have met me just through YouTube. So 
that is really cool. It's really interesting going to the drop zone and people are like, oh, I know you. And I'm like, I don't know you though. So um, that's been super cool. The community has been really, really awesome and I hope to continue. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting and liking and all that and sharing the videos. And I'll see you guys in the sky in November.